Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today let's take a look at the Nintendo Switch and we're going to install mods on my modern Nintendo Switch and specifically we're going to install mods that are in the patch text format, all right? I think that's how you pronounce it, so P-C-H-T-X-T. -T. So some mods are in this format and they don't work like you can't just drag them into your uh, Nintendo Switch SD card and automatically work. They need to be converted into IPS format, all right? So let's take a look. Um, I've got this uh, Super Mario Brothers Wonder and let's zoom into Mario. If you see when I'm idle, you can see the Prince Florian is on my back. All right. So there's a mod that makes it disappear. So it doesn't pop out. So that's the mod we're going to demonstrate today. All right. So you can see when I move, it's gone. But when I stand idle, it pops out. All right. So let's quit out of the game first. Okay. So on my modern Nintendo Switch, I'm going to transfer files through FTP, okay, from my computer. So I'm going to use a program called FTPD. I'll leave a link in the description if you want to install this. Okay, so you can see my IP address. So it's uh, 192.168.1.194 and the port is 5000. So let's quickly go over to my PC. Okay, so here's my PC, and let's just take a look. All right, so this is the mod, No Prince Florian. This is the mod on Game Banana, and it's a uh, patch text, all right? So you can see it also says here, please note for those on official hardware, you need to convert the patch text file to IPS using IPS switch, all right? So how do you do this, all right? So some people might get confused. So this is the video that I'm going to show you how it's done. Okay, I'll leave a link in the description for this mod as well. Okay, so the first thing you need to download IPS Switch. All right, so the GitHub page is here. The link is also in the description. So download this IPS Switch.nro. All right, I already have it on my desktop, so I don't need to download it. So that's the first thing. And the second thing is you download a the, uh, the mod to test out, all right? So you download the No Prince Floria mod to test it out. So I've got the, the file here. So let's just extract this. Okay, I'm gonna extract it. I'm gonna extract this. Okay, so here's the, here's the, I've extracted it. It's a, if we take a look at it, if we take a look at it, Okay, so you can see there's a patch text uh, file, all right? So this is the mod. This is the mod. It's just some uh, code. It's just some code. Okay, so this is the mod. So how do we install it onto our Switch? I'm going to open FileZilla. Okay, and I'm going to connect to the IP address that I just had. So here on the right-hand side, this is my Switch uh, file format and here's my desktop on my computer. Okay, so you can see I've got my stuff here a Desktop uh, Is the no prince. Yeah, here's, here's the no prince Florian the, the directory that I just unzipped Okay, so the first thing we go into our switch directory Where all the NRO is okay, and then we're going to move the IP switch NRO over okay, so it's a uh, Put it over here and then i'm going to create a directory okay i'm going to create a directory called ips switch or ip switch i don't know how they pronounce that maybe ip switch ips switch something like that all right so i've got an ips switch folder here okay and then inside this folder i'm going to bring the no prince florian folder inside okay so that's the format Okay, so one more time, I've got the IPS switch .nro in the uh, switch folder of my of my SD card. All right, so this is the root of my SD card. Inside here should have a switch folder. Inside it should have the IPS switch .nro, and then inside this folder, you also create a new folder called IPS switch, and inside here is where you put your uh, mod so uh, the folder is called no prince florian it could be named anything you want and then inside that it should have the patch text uh the mod okay so that's what we have that's the file format all right then we can go back to our nintendo switch 
Okay, so back on our Nintendo Switch, I'm gonna quit out this and then go back to my album to check my to check my program. So you can see now I've got the IPS switch. So I'm gonna launch it. Alright, and then once you're in here, uh press A on generate IPS by patch text. Okay. Okay, now it says reading the contents from the directory switch slash IP switch that we created and then it's you can see it located no prince florian 1.0.0 dot patch text all right and i'm gonna press a and then it found it and you can see it it automatically has the output the ips output to atmosphere slash exefs underscore patches slash no prince florian and then a big string of uh digits for the ips all right so that should be done. All right, now we're going to press start the plus button to get out of it. And that should be it. That should be it. But let's check if it really did its job. So let's go back to the FTP. All right, so I'm going to start my FTP again and then go back to my computer. So back on my computer, let's see if it really did create what it should have. Okay, so atmosphere and then efx patches all right you see here it created no prince florian that's what it generated by itself and this is the ips all right so it converted the patch text to an ips so that's good and this is the correct location where it should be all right so we're done now let's go back into our switch and start the game and see if the mod works so very simple this should work Here's how you get, if you download a mod from the internet, patch text, and you don't know how to make it work on the Nintendo Switch, this is how you do it. It's -a -me. Those mods just, uh, if you drag it to the mod folder on your emulator, it works automatically. But on the Switch hardware, you need to convert it to IPS. Okay, so let's go back here. All right, you can see I'm idle. And you can see I don't have the Prince Florian on my back anymore. All right, so I'm moving around, and when I go idle, you see the Prince Florian is gone. So that demonstrates that the mod is working. So yeah, great. So I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.